Hey, what's up everybody? Michael the Ark here. Today I am doing something that has been requested of me, and that is showing y'all how I take pictures for my thumbnails of the weapons and stuff like that. So there's one thing that you will need for this. You can you don't even need this, but you should try to get Sasika Lodge. Uh, it is going to help you tremendously, but I'm going to show you a few different ways to go about doing this. So it doesn't matter where you're at unless you're trying to get a picture of an animal out in the wild. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go into wherever you're at. So if you're going to go for out in the wild, you want to, if you're on PC, you want to just be able to have your camera and run up sneak up and take a picture of something and it's that simple of the animals so if you are wanting to do pictures of weapons and you don't have a lodge what you need to do is go the best place is actually at Hirschfelden out on the lodge or not the lodge but the uh the shooting range there is a very nice place there so let's go ahead and actually go there um we're just going to go over here to map we're going to toggle the reserve and we're going right over to Hirschfelden. now if you want to screenshot this you very well can you can do this on console or on uh pc very easily and once you're here on Hirschfelden, the thing that you want to do go back into your map and go right on down here to your shooting range. Now, everyone should have the shooting range. It is a free PC update, and it comes installed with the console version, so you should have this. And once you get over here, I will show you the position that I take to do this, and I'm just going to make sure I have nothing showing in my hands. I'm going to come in here to system, game, and hide hunting hub. I'm going to turn that off. And now you also can turn off the, the other stuff here. But if you stand about right here, you notice that your weapons have a nice blurry background. Now there are other places out here that can do this as well, but I like I like to get right about here so that it's all on that dirt part right there. And you can just take a screenshot right here. And with that, you can actually use this image right here to get your, your gun or whatever. Now there are issues like with this, and I have just cut this out on a lot of them when I have done this in the past. Um, basically ones that are DLC are not going to have that, but the DLC will. So what I, like I said, I've just literally cut that out and sort of rebuilt the end or shortened it even just a little bit, uh, from what it is. And I will just use that sometimes. And that's how I've got the, the pictures of the bows and stuff, especially, um, I'll just, like I said, try to get it to where it's right there in the dirt and now I've got all of these bows and I can just take a picture of them I can cut them out however I need to or whatever uh, and that that helps it really helps a lot but there's a better way now say, say just say the dog is an animal here that we're hunting and he doesn't see us there we go on PC that's fine if you're not on PC and you want to do this what you need to do your own console what you want to do is go to system game cut hide hunting hood off or own when you want to come down here and you want to cut all of this stuff off every single bit of it you want off okay with that you want to hide that well you don't even need to hide that you just go you don't have to go into picture mode, so yeah, you do want to hide your hands. Uh, if your hands are like that, you want to stand up 
and I would just come right over here and now that would be the best shot I could get. I would just hit the screenshot button and there you go. All right, so let's go back in there and remember to cut all this stuff back on. And boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we want to cut all that back on. Uh, you would want to cut track effects totally off, by the way. And from here, the other thing that you can do is go into a trophy lodge, create, if you have it, Sasika, create a Sasika lodge that you're going to leave empty or that you can put uh, backup animals or something in. Um, you don't have to, you do not have to have a, just an empty lodge. I like to have an empty lodge to use it as a staging ground or a photography lodge, basically. You can also do this with Spring Creek, but there are no weapon stands in Spring Creek. If you find a an area in Spring Creek that you like for the animals, though, go ahead and do that. There is a really nice one in the upstairs left side, I believe, for there's a large plaque and a bunch of other, um, or not plaques, but um, stands that you can go there and do. But we're going to go here to a fresh Sasika that I have just made. And once we get in here, I'm just going to go into various areas and I can pull an animal if I want to, take a picture of it, it doesn't matter. So once I get in here, you see you've got, we're going to hit edit. You've got handguns here that you could do. You could do uh, any three guns there. There's a nice... A nice one right here that you could do two handguns two rifles or two long guns you can do long guns or rifles or handguns uh, shotguns rifles handguns or bows on these right now these are broken to where they're having bows go long way and stuff so they're not so easy to use um, one thing you could use this stand for a backdrop i don't like to really use these and i can use this one as long as i'm just standing right here so this one right here is also pretty good this one is good now this one right here i usually i put stuff on it and i take a picture if i want it to be in the lodge however i like to have this one because with this one i don't think i have yeah, I, I do have a trophy or two. Just say we want to put this guy in here. And say we want to have him in some... Just say we want him like... Like that, right there. Alright, so we're wanting to have a backdrop that we can cut out fairly easily. So I want to try to get it to where... The wood behind it is not going to be a problem. In that case, I might want to, I might actually want to change it to where, we actually pull it around this way. And now go back out of that. And now we'll just go back in here and we could take we can back up and zoom in and now that would be very easy to cut around you've got different contrasting colors behind him and everything and that's going to be easy to cut around so you can use that however you need to now there are a few different places that you can really take good pictures of different weapons you've got these uh, these are okay for any type of long gun if you're gonna have two of them you can set up two here you could set up two here you've got two here and then you've got a place here for a long gun and two uh, handguns you can also put a handgun here so this is a nice place say we want to do Ooh, let's find it. 
let's just say we want to do the Mengia Fico and we want to do it this way. This would work very well for this. Now, I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to frame this up and take my picture. So one thing I'm going to do, I know that it's actually going to be a little bit different. Now, if you're taking a picture on PC this way, you don't have to worry about where it says view mode. So we take our picture like that. Now, if we are on console, this is what you would have to do. Go back in here to system, hide hunting HUD, and now you're right here and you just take a screenshot like so. And that is going to be the best way that you can do that on console. You can pull out your camera and put yourself wherever you need to be and then take a screenshot and just leave the lines in if you want to that's up to you uh but that is a a way to go ahead and do that now another thing you can do is in here you have got these nice places you've got a wall for four let's bring up the edit you've got four You've got three, you've got two, and you've got two here as well. Uh, on this side, this is the one that I would use for, say, three handguns. So just say we want to put all three of these in here. That's going to be the best place for that. This one, if you're going to display them here, that's fine. But this side does not get as much light. I don't know why, but this one here is always really dark. So over here, you can do the same. Uh, I actually think this one might be better than this one. I don't know if it would be or not. Um, but there's two bow stands here for later if you need to. For this, this is a perfect place. How I have made mine is I come here all the way down and i just put all of my strekkers on here it's the only gun i know of that has four versions so we're just i'm just going to put all of my strekkers here and once i get them on there this is a really cool way of doing this uh, now you can put others here as well Oops. it doesn't have to be the strecker you can only like you can put three guns you can put two guns whatever you want on here but with that on there i'm going to go ahead and go out of that mode i'm going to jump up here on top of this and i'm going to squat now if you are taking if you're on console it's not easy to do the best thing i found to do is to literally get up here and jump off and take a screenshot once it was in view and it, it took me a few times but i finally got one that way but now that i'm on pc as well i can just pull this up you notice i can back up i can back up frame it and boom i can take me a picture of it uh if you just want to say just two guns right here you could easily take a picture of just those two or just have three right there and you could do that it's a, a great place to do so so now down here we have got another uh place that say you have two you can just photograph them right here i like to use this one for a lot of stuff if there's three of them especially i always use this one for three um just to show you let's throw the the 30 alt 6 on there it doesn't matter which way we put it in so we're going to throw these on and console i would just get right up here like so and take a picture take a screenshot on pc boom it's that easy
you could zoom out and come right up here if you want it uh, now another thing you can do and I will do so in just a second hold on let me get that pulled out of there let's go ahead and pull this guy off of there one thing I like to do another well, first let me show you there's this area there's this one here as well this board that's actually really nice for displaying stuff this is not a bad one but it's up so I probably wouldn't use it if you another one that you can put uh, just a single gun or handguns on if you want there's this there are the uh, wall mounts here I like to have stuff right here and if you didn't know about this place it took me a while to figure this out as well but okay uh, what is okay what's two guns that you might use let's see here well there is the 22s and there's only two of them so let's let's do that there it is now I'm gonna switch that around now I can just take a picture of this if I want and there I you're not gonna be able to cut that out as easily but that's not a bad picture you know if you just want to use two guns that's a decent picture just think about all the the different places in here that are eye level and pretty good one place i want to show you though and i'm going to show you a, a trick that i've been playing around with and that is this this place right here is a perfect area and the reason for that if you look here okay we've got us a fallow deer we're going to put him there we're going to put this gems box here All right, now we're going to go ahead and let's put our coach mate there. Let's put our 3030 there. Let's go ahead and throw on the uh, few of the weapons here. And now. I'm always trying to drag that down. Uh, let's throw that on. And it doesn't matter. We'll find one. Uh, there we go. Let's throw that on. So I'm going to put that that way and that one that way. And now if those are right, it's nice to have two of them facing each other there. We also could have uh, a rabbit or something right here. But go out of uh, edit mode. Now even on like playstation or xbox you could take a, a decent screenshot right there and just zoom in on it a little bit but with the capabilities of pc you know you could do it like this right here i'm just trying to get this sort of centered um, if you don't want to get the stuff in the bottom, it's easy to, you can just take them off, but you see, it, it's, it's very easy to do so. So that is how I go about doing that. The rest of it, uh, I use paint shop pro to cut them out. I can throw up a few of my thumbnails and a slideshow type thing to let y'all see that. I hope that this has been informative. I was just asked if I could explain it or show how I done it. So I thought that I would try to help out and make a video. I also wanted to have a special video for today because it is a it's a different day. Uh it's not a normal day here in the United States and though I'm making this in advance, I know exactly which day this is going to come out on. So I wanted to have a lighter video for today and uh yeah
it's something that I just did not want to put out a video with a lot of gun shooting in it today. So y'all have yourselves a great day and I will see y'all next time.